Hi, my name is Mark Han. I've been an animator for the Walt Disney Feature Animation Studios for almost 40 years now. Amongst many of the characters that I've had the opportunity to animate, many of them were princesses. And the very first princess I had the opportunity to animate was a young lady by the name of Ariel. And that's who we're going to draw today. So come along and let's draw Ariel. Okay, the very first thing that we want to do, and for many of our characters, is to start with a ball or a circle. It's going to look like a circle, but in my mind's eye, it's round like a ball. So I'm thinking of the volume. It's not just simply a round circle on a piece of paper. It's, it's a round object. And this represents the character's head or skull. And in this case with a human, it's definitely you know, the skull uh, of the character. And I'm just going to put myself a little line here, which again, thinking volumetrically, thinking round, is going to, in my mind, give me kind of the middle of where this is. So it's a slight three-quarter turn with this round ball. This represents Ariel's head. Now we're going to add her cheeks and her chin and her jaw. So that's going to come down here. And you'll notice that as I'm drawing, I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, just putting marks down. Nothing I put down, you know, is, you know, perfect the first time out. Um, artists like to feel their way through a drawing. And so you'll see artists constantly bouncing around, feeling their way through, maybe making several strokes like I'm doing here, trying to find the right shape and refining that. So now we've got her head basically enclosed, her head and skull, cheeks, chin, and kind of roughly indicate where her neck's going to come off here like that. Okay. And now the next thing that's really critical are her eyes. And her eyes were quite large. And so we can use kind of where the bottom of this ball is and use that as kind of an eye line to help us. So we're going to go ahead and just rough in where her eyes would be. And they would be obviously on opposite sides of this halfway point on the ball. So we're going to kind of do this like that. And I'm again just very loosely, lightly sketching in in her eyes to give me an idea. And it's all about relationships, you know, or how far apart are her eyes, how you know high in the forehead are her eyes, all those kind of things come into play. The next thing we want to look at are her eyebrows, and they're gonna play an important part. So they fit right over your eyes, just as you yours do at home. You can look in a mirror and you'll see that your eyebrows are right over your eyes, like that. But in this case, with her left eyebrow, screen right, this is going to become important in terms of creating a graphic image for her, in terms of the placement of where her nose is. So this, we're going to kind of bring this line down here to, which would be the top or the bridge of her nose. Bring it down here like this. I'm just going to kind of rough in where I think her nostrils would be. And this triangular relationship is very critical because then that tells me where to put her mouth in placement, in proper placement underneath her nose and to her eyes and everything. So now that we have her nose kind of roughed in here, then we can put her with a big smile. Again, we're just going to, I'm just kind of roughing it in very lightly, very loosely. I always have my eraser handy. Don't go anywhere without my eraser because you make adjustments. You're constantly making adjustments. And Ariel, of course, has a really nice big smile like this, kind of indicating where her teeth are, where her bottom lip is, where her top lip is. Okay, so now we've got kind of her face roughly blocked in. I was doing a lecture once in a drawing demo with a group at a college and I got this far and I asked the college, the uh, audience, I said, who do you think uh, I'm doing now? Who do you think I'm drawing? Which character is this? And they kept throwing up all different answers, Jasmine, Belle, uh, you know, a bunch of different answers until I did this one thing. And 
as soon as I did that, there was no question as to who this character is. And of her, besides her fins, her flippers, Ariel's most distinguished physical attribute is her hair. So as soon as I put that big swooping bangs on there, everybody knew who I was drawing. Right now what I was doing was just going back into the eyes and just kind of roughing in the shapes of the eyes, the iris, the pupil, and then this littlest spot uh, in, in the upper corner here is, will be the highlight. So again, I'm just kind of bouncing all over. And just starting to indicate her eyelashes. And as you can see, one of the things I did when I added her hair was actually go a little further than where the original drawing for the circle for the skull is. And that's because hair has thickness. And so while this just gives me a basic idea of the first uh, circular drawing I did, now that I've added her hair, I wanted to give her a nice thick full head of hair that we all know she has. So I'm just going to kind of bring it down like this. We've added her neck here. We've had a little bit of a side burn on her and we've indicated here where her ear fits in. Okay. And it's okay. You can see here that I've let her bangs cover up her part of her right eyebrow, which is perfectly fine. So all we have to do is darken up the part that's sticking out from underneath the bangs. Her left eyebrow is going to be left visible like this. And just before we finish, we will take an eraser, if you have one, and just kind of lightly remove some of these underdrawing so it doesn't look quite so funny. All right, so going back to the eyes, I, I said I just roughed in the iris, which is the outer band, and the pupil, which is the inner circle, and then the tiniest is this is the highlight. So you can kind of shade that in as one color for the iris and then a darker darker shape, darker color for her pupil, which is the inner inner circle there. And then leave the highlight as of the, the lightest color, the whitest. Like this. And then we'll come back and kind of suggest the fold where her her eyelids are as they fold up into her head here. Kind of reinforce where the eyes set in the head here. This line here on this side of the cheek which is visible is very very important. We can actually too, we can shade in underneath the, the swoop of her bangs here. We can indicate that space up underneath underneath her bangs there and these extra little swoopy lines are just suggestions that tell make a graphic statement that her hair is you know is, is hair we don't need to worry about obviously drawing every single strand of hair on a character like this but we just with a few strokes make a suggestion that it's hair like that so let me grab my eraser now and then we can go in and start removing some of these under under drawings or construction drawings, just kind of lightly rubbing some of those down, including her eyebrow that's underneath her hair, and including this little center line here. Just take those, knock those down a little bit. That'll kind of help soften things up a little bit. And we'll just come back to her mouth here and make sure put a little darker corner there to suggest that the, the teeth are going are curved. Again, thinking volumetrically that those teeth curve and go back in and around her jaw. Like that. And if you want, you can kind of sketch in a color for her lips just to kind of differentiate that from her teeth. Like that.
Okay, so we're going to just make a trouble check here, just check a couple adjustments. She is shaping up here, I think. Looking pretty good. And there, we are just about there. And there, my friends, is Ariel. And I hope you've enjoyed following along and drawing along if you had paper and pencil. But uh, my first princess in a long line of princesses that I've animated, Miss Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Thank you for watching.